Hi there, welcome back to the new ClickSense tutorial video. And in this video, we will going to look at the first work date function. So first work date function is based on the concept that uh, if you have, let's say an end date and you have number of working days, then what is the first work date or first day of working you had? And it will give you the output as days, uh, sorry, the date and uh, you can also specify the holiday as well so just to give you some more uh, idea about this let's go into the data tab and we have a table in which we have invoice received and invoice paid let's say generally uh, when you receive the invoice generally you have uh, nine or ten days before the work is getting started and you want to know that uh, before the nine days what was the date so in that case what we can do is let's create uh, one table as uh, first work date just so that you know we can remember but you can you are free to uh, use any table name which is making more sense for you and however uh, we will see that uh, we can do this in the back end as well as in the front end all right so what we'll do is load star star is to get all the columns which are here in this table and then uh, first work date okay and uh, inv rec comma nine let's say nine days before the work is getting started as first work date resident resident should be the table this one because that's where from there all the fields are coming now we don't need the first table so drop table sorry first not first one but pay table all right um save this save it load it close it come to analysis in the table um you have the invoice received it that's the dimension we picked and let's see what was the date nine days prior to this so add column dimension and then in first work date so first work date it will not count the saturday and sunday so first work date is 16th march in this case in the case of 10th of december 28th of november was the first work date similarly so on and so forth for the rest of the values similarly you can go ahead and add the measure over here and here you can specify first work date function i n o v invoice received comma nine days and then click apply you will get the similar date over here now as i mentioned you can uh, you can have the holidays also in this as part of the syntax so let's say uh, i don't know maybe 20th of march 2003 2012 let's try with this that it was a holiday and uh, i'll just click apply and you will see that the date is shifted to 15 but rest of the dates are same in that case if you have a proper holiday list also you can fetch it as part of the table and specify here as, as a field uh, in this function whether in the front end over here in instead of hard coded value you can specify that or in the back end also in the data load editor you can specify the uh, the date list holiday list over here so this way you don't have to hard code the values but this is how you can identify the first work date whenever you are doing uh, the calculation which is related to the working days or working start date or something so that's about it and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic